Tom here from Warren Systems, and we're going to talk about TrueNAS Scale and using TailScale. There's an official app from IX Systems in their app market that you can load for this. That's what we're going to be doing for the demo here. I've got plenty of videos linked down below about TailScale overlay networks and including setting up TailScale with things like PFSense and integrating it into your network with the firewall, which is my preferred way to do it. But sometimes there's challenges and you may not have access to the firewall or you may not have a firewall that supports TailScale and you'd want to load it directly on the device or maybe the TrueNAS is not somewhere where you have any access at all to the firewall because you put it on another network but want to have remote access to it. That's what this video is going to cover today is how that works and let's get started. I did this drawing in draw.io and for this demonstration we're going to be using TailScale. You could use HeadScale if you prefer a self-hosted solution. I've got a video linked down below on how to set up HeadScale but to keep this demo simple we're just going to use TailScale and it is compatible either way whichever one you use. The scenario is going to be, let's say you are on some untrusted network and you want to get from that untrusted network back through your home firewall and you can't load tail scale on your home firewall, but you can load it on your true NAS scale. We are going to advertise the route of 192.168.3.0.24 because our TrueNAS scale server is located at 192.168.3.4 and we want to advertise that other devices exist on that network, such as our 3.8 server and our 3.14 server. And we'd like to have access to those in addition to any applications that are operating on our TrueNAS scale. So we'll have access to the apps, the shares, and any other adjacent servers on that same network. Now, when we do this, it's going to go out through the internet, but it stops and talks to the coordination server. This is where I have a video where I outline much more in detail how overlay networks work and the coordination server is actually what takes care of all this. But to make things clear, the coordination server coordinates these connections, but the data does not pass through it. So your privacy and integrity is maintained because it's just establishing the connections between you and your TrueNAS. Now I'm logged into the TailScale interface and I already have a few devices connected, but there is no TrueNAS on here. So that's the next one we're going to be adding. We're going to go here to settings. We're going to go down here to keys and we want to generate an auth key. So we click on generate auth key and I don't really need to make this reusable. So we're just going to give it a description. The reusable is if you wanted to connect multiple true NASAs, you could create an auth key that could be reused several times, but I prefer to create an auth key unless you're mass adding devices just to one system. So we're going to call it true NAS demo. We'll leave the expiration here because we can change this set later. Uh, ephemeral, we're going to leave that skipped because that would only allow it to be used one time. So the rest of the settings are going to be fine. We'll just let it generate the key. And we're going to go ahead and copy this key right here. By the way, even though you were able to see this key, this key is going to be dead by the time I published a video. So no worries there. I didn't blur it out. We're going to go over to our TrueNAS scale system. I'm running TrueNAS scale 22.12.3. We're going to go to apps, available apps, and we're going to find tail scale. We're going to go ahead and install the app, leave the application name the same. We're going to use whatever the latest version is for the auth key. We're just going to paste that in. And then for the name, I'm going to just match the name and call it your scale demo advertise routes. I'd like to be able to access other devices on this network. So we're going to go 192.168.3.0 slash 24. That'll give me access to all the devices on there. If you were going to add more networks, you could actually add more like by clicking add and put another route in there. So when we need exit node advertisement is a question it asks if you'd like to have this as the exit for your network. So you could actually tunnel your traffic and exit out of this true NAS. I'll go ahead and click the box. So we'll show you how that's set up. And then everything else we can just leave at default and hit save. It's now creating the tail scale application and connecting it. And now it's showing active. So we're going to go back over to our tail scale interface. Click done, go back over to machines. And now we see our true NAS demo. Now it's got an exclamation point between subnets and exit nodes. So what we want to do here is edit route settings. We're going to approve using this route and we're going to approve using it as an exit node. That's all you have to do to get it working. Now, the last thing is it's going to let me know that the key expiration is enabled. And if we wanted to make this permanent, we would simply disable the key expiration right here. And now it's disabled and this will stay up and running. Now there's one limitation I want to mention, and that's that tail scale does not show up as an interface on the TrueNAS itself. It only shows the interfaces that are actually attached to it. 
I bring it up because I want to point out a specific limitation and that may affect the scenario that you're trying to do. If you wanted to set this up and run tail scale on two different true NASs and have the true NASs talk to each other and do something like replication, that won't work. Because it's not in the true NAS itself, it's running within a container and an attached network, but not actually adding an adapter to the true NAS. You can't say, hey, this is the tailnet IP of each of these devices and tell them to replicate to each other because the true NAS itself, even though you can get from the application that's in the container to the true NAS and it shares, true NAS doesn't have a route back to another true NAS. So that's something you have to keep in mind if you want to solve that problem. That's best to set up a VPN on your firewall between the two different sites so the two true NAS devices can talk to each other. That's a better scenario for solving that. Now that's all I have for true NAS scale and tail scale. Love hearing from you. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. If you want to see more content from this channel, like and subscribe. And if you want to talk more more in-depth about this and other topics, the place to talk with me on that would be forums.lawrencesystems.com. And if you want to hit me up on the socials, you'll find whatever social media networks I'm attached to at the time you're watching this video over on lawrencesystems.com. And thank you.